starting the video I just want to tell you that the 23.10.1 drivers, in my opinion, are the best drivers in months. But of course we'll go into that. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And as for today we have the review, the video review of the new AMD Adrenaline Drivers 23.10.1. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year 2023, 10 is the month October and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of October. And if you're asking yourself why are these drivers not available for download neither on the AMD site or uh, the application itself, the, the, the Adrenaline software application, it is because AMD actually, well, kind of removed the drivers from download and it is due to some Counter-Strike 2 issues, which I don't think are entirely AMD's fault because, well... Let's read the Counter-Strike 2 team um, post on Twitter. AMD's latest driver has made their Anti-Light Plus feature available for Counter-Strike 2, which is implemented by the Touring Engine DLL functions. If you are an AMD customer and play CS2, do not enable Anti-Light Plus or Anti-Light Slash Plus. Any tampering with CS code will result in a VAC ban. Once AMD ships an update, we can do the work of identifying affected users and reversing their ban. People have been using Radiant Anti-Lag on Counter-Strike Global Offensive for ages and still VAC bans, I mean, it makes no sense as soon as you start thinking about it. But maybe that's just me, in my eyes it makes absolutely no sense because, as I said before, Anti-Lag has been around for years and Valve should have already done something towards it, but anyway. anyway. AMD's answer was AMD has been alerted to an issue in which gamers playing Counter-Strike 2 CS2 with Radeon Anti-Lag Plus technology enabled on Radeon graphics are inadvertently triggering a Valve anti-cheat system ban, VAC ban. AMD is engaged with Valve to address the issue and will provide more details as they become available. AMD recommends gamers who are using AMD Software Adrenaline Edition driver 23.10.1 do not enable Anti-Lag Plus technology in CS2 until further notice. What matters is that they actually work together to fix this because this cannot happen at all. I mean, it's Anti-Lag feature, it's not a cheat, so they, they will most likely ban you for using Anti-Lag, but they, they won't ban you for cheating, so <laughs> that's, that's quite the irony there. Now, even though these drivers are not available to download on the AMD's website, you can still download them on Guru 3D website, for example, and many other websites that has that have the, the AMD drivers available. So just go Google, search for AMD 23.10.1 drivers, and uh, you'll have some links uh, there available for you to download the drivers. I myself will leave a link in the description for these drivers. And this means you don't have to worry about downloading the AMD drivers because they're there, the same way you don't have to worry about activating your Windows with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Now let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we have new feature highlights with new game support for Assassin's Creed Mirage, The Lords of the Fallen and Forza Motorsport, with Anti-Lag Plus support for Counter-Strike 2. As for the fixed issues, we have some of them, some very important, starting with intermittent app crash while playing Starfield on Radeon 7000 series graphics card products, something that was happening and finally is fixed, intermittent driver crash while playing Counter-Strike 2 with MSAA or FSR enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7900 XDX, improvements to stutter experience while playing Counter-Strike 2. And let me tell you that this is fixed, okay? I played with the 7700 XT Counter-Strike 2, I tested it uh, with the 23.9.3 drivers and it was a stuttery mess. And this of course until the shader cache was loaded, because as soon as the shader cache was loaded, the experience would be smooth. The gameplay you're seeing, for example, is me playing Counter-Strike 2 for the first time in this map after clean installing the driver, so the shader cache was not loaded by any means, and it is perfect, no stutters whatsoever, at least no stutters like before, so the gameplay is smooth and enjoyable. Finally. EA Sports FC 24 may fail to open on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7800 XT, also fixed, 
System freeze or black screen when playing video files on Radeon RX 6000 series graphics products. And the last fixed issue is the display may intermittently freeze after changing the encode format while streaming select games with AMD Link. Now, as you see, we have some really, really good fixed issues. But what about the known issues? The first one is performance metrics overlay may report NA for FPS on various games, an issue that has been occurring for several driver versions, sadly. Audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording from AMD Software Adrenaline Edition with the AV1 codec, something that has been happening once again for several driver versions and yet not fixed. Corruption may be observed in Forza Motorsport when RT is enabled, another known issue. Intermittent flickering may be briefly observed in Total War Pharaoh's menus after changing graphics settings. And the last known issue is intermittent app crash in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when Radiant Anti-Lag is enabled. Users experiencing this are recommended to disable anti-lag as a temporary workaround. So basically, if you're playing Modern Warfare 2, uh, yeah, just disable anti-lag and the issue is gone, okay? Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, whatever, just disable the Radiant anti-lag. If you're having a decent amount of, of FPS and you're not a competitive player, you won't need Radiant anti-lag anyways, it's just a placebo effect. And this time we have an interesting note on the important notes, which is for users who previously installed an AMD software inside their preview build, basically the fluid motion drivers, running AMD cleanup utility is recommended before installing the drivers. So what AMD is basically telling you is stop being dumb. Stop it. Get some help. And do a clean installation in all driver versions if you don't want any issues. So if you want to avoid any kind of issues, just use DDU or AMD cleanup utility to clean install the drivers each time you install newer ones, okay? That's how you should do it. At least to avoid issues, of course. Now, as for the goods and bads of these drivers that I found, well, let's start with the goods. The goods is much, and I repeat, much better performance in Assassin's Creed Mirage. We're talking about up to 40% performance increase in some scenarios, especially on the city zones. Well, I tested the 7700 XT with Assassin's Creed Mirage as well, with the 23.9.3 drivers, as you can see in this video passing right now in the screen. And I did think that the performance was kind of odd, at least way lower than it should be. And I thought to myself that this is not right. And it wasn't, of course, because as soon as we installed the 23.10.1 drivers, the performance uplift was massive. In some cases, from 75 to 100 FPS. In the same exact scenario, with the same GPU power draw, just drivers. Insane. Another good point is that we have Anti-Lag Plus for Counter-Strike 2, although, of course, um, there is an issue and we cannot actually use it, but that's another story. Remember me telling you that Counter-Strike 2 was smooth, smoothly, smoothly smooth, uh, with the 23.10.1 drivers. Well, it happens that it isn't only Counter-Strike 2, because as soon as I saw that, I tested other games. For example, God of War was one of those games where the stutters went very, very bad after the 23.7.1 drivers, where the shader cache loading went kind of... Woohoo! With these new drivers, not only Counter-Strike 2 is buttery smooth, the same applies for God of War. God of War experience when playing is now much much better, no stutters whatsoever, just a butter smooth experience. As for the bads, the only bad thing that I found was actually that in Assassin's Creed Mirage, when using these newer drivers, I actually needed from 10 to 15 more millivolts on my overclocking settings. Uh, so on the core voltage, I needed from 10 to 15 millivolts more, depending on the GPU, to properly run, to properly run, sorry, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Otherwise, it would, it wouldn't even boot. It would just crash the desktop because it didn't have enough voltage. While on the previous drivers, it worked. For example, on the 7700 XT with uh, one volt, so 1,000 millivolts. It works perfectly, and all the games that I tested, Assassin's Creed Valhalla included, for example, didn't need more than 1000 millivolts. But in Assassin's Creed Mirage, we actually needed 15 millivolts more in order to make things stable. Well, it's nothing out of this world, I just wanted you to know. Basically, that's it. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Oh, shit. And well, guys, that's basically all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, as it really helps a lot. And also, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section and let me know once again what you think about these drivers. In my opinion, and I'm telling you once again, my opinion, 
these drivers are the best drivers since the 23.5.2 ones. More performance, very, very stable, lots of fixed issues, and once again, well, they finally fixed the shader cache loading, which was an issue for most players, especially the ones playing things in DirectX 11, like Valorant, sometimes League of Legends, Counter-Strike 2, and so on, so on, so on. So, for people playing those games, this is definitely a must-have driver. Just don't forget to not enable the anti-lag plus on Counter-Strike 2, otherwise you may have issues with Valve's anti-cheat system. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers! Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators and staircase too. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. <laughs>